guys? Welcome to the channel. Realized while editing, I did not have an intro to this video. So I ran out of the motorhome and I'm in my truck right now without the keys and it's 170 in here and I'm soaked. But I needed an intro. So here you guys go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yep. Little black smoke. That's courtesy of me by adding that new muffler in there. It's basically not a muffler, so sounds really good though. So before we get started, I gotta mow this field real quick. This piece right here, you're gonna flip around that way. This piece right here, the crankcase that pushes air through this horn, is gonna be gone. Turn the horn over, and we're gonna pipe it into the, the uh, axle dump on my Duramax. We already found out what the diameter of this is, four and a half inches. So what we gotta do is find something that can reduce down to four and a half, go over this, and then we gotta find something that goes over five inch. So big shout out to whoever recommended this. It was actually one of the comments. I'll put it up on the screen of who recommended it. Thank you to you, I think it's a good idea. Alrighty guys, so we got the tip off. I gotta roll this bad boy over. I flipped that horn over as you guys seen. Alright guys, so here's the plan so far. Got it kind of mocked up here. Obviously guys, don't roast me. This is not gonna be permanent. I know some people are gonna say in the comments, oh well it's ghetto, it's never gonna stay. I'm aware of that. This thing's huge. I would never put this here anyways. It's probably not good for the truck, but I'm curious to see how it sounds. Maybe, maybe this exhaust pushes enough air to sound this horn. Either way, I got it rigged up with ratchet straps. Got three of them on here, kind of getting it put in place. It's off the ground at least. And then we got this. I'm also aware that uh, PVC and very extreme temperatures don't mix. But again, this is not, it's not like I'm driving to Florida with this set up. So I'm not worried about it. Mainly just wanting to hear what it sounds like. So uh, that's what we're doing. <sighs> it could be super loud. It could just sound really good. Who knows? 45 is going there. That pipe's going through the axle dump. We'll seal it off. Well, there's our uh, tight fitting there. It's actually Gorilla Tape. Go ahead, I'm gonna go grab my other camera and we are gonna let this thing rip because uh, I'm super excited to hear this. All right guys, so we're about to start her up. It is, like I said, not perfect, but it's gonna be enough. You can see it right here. Should hold on just a uh, for idle, but of course we're not gonna let it just idle, so. All right, let's go ahead and start her up. All right, boys, here we go. So good. Houston, we have a problem. It's gonna send it. It's gonna hold her wide. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Can instantly patch, bond, seal, and repair. Soot. Oh my god. Oh man, that sounded really cool. I hope it picked it up on camera. It didn't make like the didn't make the horn noise, I don't think. It's pretty impressive how that sound. It's had a cool tone to it. You guys heard the difference when it popped off. When that piece popped off, you can kind of hear you hear the tone. This thing actually made it really deep. I guess it's obviously what it is. It's a horn that makes a deep noise. So it kind of made sense. Oh man, I'm telling you right now.
right now. We need to do a decibel test. Of course, I'm in Michigan. I don't have a decibel reader. I'd be curious to hear how much louder this is. Take your guesses down below. When I spooled up my the Duramax in Florida, uh, it was like 124 decibels at like 3,000 RPM, something like that. Place your guesses down below what this would be with the new horn on it. I'm putting money on it that it's way, way louder. Like it, I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. It, sh it should be louder, right? Having a horn that's designed to be loud. Putting it on the end of an exhaust should be louder. I think, I think it sounds incredible though. Hopefully you guys could hear the difference in the tone. Whenever it blew off, you guys probably could hear how much of a different tone it puts out. Huge shout out to the guy that recommended me do this. Um, I know that's what YouTube is. A lot of people do stupid stuff on YouTube and it generates good views. I get that. I need to get this all unhooked. I need to put my tip on. I'm actually leaving for Florida tomorrow, guys. This part of the horn, the main, the horn and all this isn't super heavy. I would say probably 60 pounds, 50 pounds. It's the, uh, motor that's right there that that's the heaviest part that's probably the second heaviest part I didn't know if it would make the the loud horn um I don't think it did I think it kind of wanted to when I was up almost red line in the truck which is solid for it I know you can hear that Ryan's diesel service turbo through that pretty good though you can hear that whistle all right boys so that's gonna do it thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new to this channel definitely at least consider subscribing we have a lot of fun stuff planned this horn build has just begun you guys see my previous video about the horn uh, I just got it and uh I'm in the process of making it work properly. You know, this is not how it's supposed to be ran, I don't think. But I will be getting that horn going. I will be blasting it off in my neighborhood probably. And we should have a lot of fun with that. Um, also, we have a lot more things we want, I want to do with that thing. And the Duramax here, a lot of big plans for it as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Did you think it was going to make a different noise? Did you think it was going to make the horn noise? What did you think? Because, uh... I really didn't have an idea. I had no idea. I've never seen it done before. So there's your answer if you guys were wondering. And big shout out to the guy that gave me this idea to do this. So um, I really appreciate it. And uh, it was fun. I have to go take this stuff off and uh, get my exhaust ready to go for Florida because I had to drive 1,200 miles tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys next time.